When setting up a labelling experiment, it is important to remember that tissue samples and cells can express endogenous immunoglobulins, which can cause non-specific signal. Endogenous immunoglobulins do not cause a problem if the primary antibody is derived from a different species to your sample tissue. For example, when staining mouse tissue for the protein of interest using a rabbit primary antibody. The anti-rabbit secondary antibody detects the rabbit primary antibody, not the endogenous mouse immunoglobulins. When viewed under the microscope, the signal generated is specific to the protein of interest. Sometimes it is impossible to avoid using a primary antibody made from the same species as the sample material. Although the mouse primary antibody is able to detect the antigen specifically, an anti-mouse secondary antibody is unable to differentiate between the mouse primary antibodies and the endogenous mouse immunoglobulins. This mislabeling leads to non-specific background signal, which can interfere with result interpretation. Background from endogenous immunoglobulin can be prevented by blocking them with unconjugated fab fragments directed against the host species of the tissue prior to incubating the sample with the primary antibody from the same species as the sample. Consequently, the labelled anti-mouse secondary antibodies are prevented from binding the immunoglobulins by the fab fragments and only detects the intended mouse primary antibody, which ensures that the signal is specific. Subsequent primary and secondary antibody pairs can be used to label other antigens on the tissue without hindrance from non-specific signal.